Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This will be Comanche Day build four in the Engine Swap Chronicles or part four. And today we are starting to take apart the Cherokee. Um, this is something I'm kind of bittersweet about. The Cherokee is running and driving. So it's just one of those things. I wanted to keep the Cherokee running as long as possible, but there comes a time where you had to tear into it. And that's what we're gonna start doing today. Like I mentioned, uh, we're gonna be taking about the taking apart the Cherokee. We're gonna start uh, first and foremost, uh, pulling the dash out, uh, getting all that squared away. So the dash, the center console is gonna be going to the Cherokee just cause it matches. I will paint the other Comanche body panels to match the 10. But for now, we're gonna start pulling these out. We're gonna start pulling door cards the mirrors because they are adjustable from the inside and lastly if we have time today if not it'll be part of part five but we're going to start pulling accessories and stuff out of the engine bay of the cherokee to get ready to swap them into the comanche and as you saw in the previous video the comanche bay is painted i'm gonna start putting stuff in here like the battery tray um the air box things like that uh the ecu goes on that side um just a whole bunch of things i'm gonna be using the brake booster master cylinder and probably the distribution block as well from the cherokee i'm gonna i need to reflare the rear lines of the comanche to take the new uh fittings for the cherokee and the bubble flares that the um, proportioning valve from the Cherokee takes. So besides that, let's get to it and I'll bring you guys along the way. So it's, this dash is very similar like the Comanche. So the steps are the same. Pretty much start with the screws to get the lower dash out and then unplug whatever you need to unplug that's behind there. After that, we'll take the bezel off and then take the gauge cluster and then the top trim piece, and then we'll just unbolt the dash. So far, I got the lower dash out. I've been labeling everything as I go. Uh, I got the bezel loose, but I can't quite get it to fit over the plastic trimmer on the steering wheel. So I'll figure that out next. But I did take off the top trim piece here, exposing the, the four uh, little bolts on the top that hold it up. And then, Next thing I have left is to pull this kick panel to get to the 15 mil bolt that's right there. And after that, we should be able to tilt this up and slide the whole dash out. And I know the the Jeep will start without the dash. So I'll still be able to keep the Jeep running, but I'm probably not driving because I disconnected the TCU, the transmission control unit thing that like sits right about here. I guess that plugs into, but Besides that, it's going along great. I haven't really broken anything, which has been my main concern. But other than that, we're gonna keep chugging away at this and I'll update you guys as soon as I have this whole thing out. Well, this is where we got to today. This is gonna be my stopping point for today. Uh, I got the whole dash out. It took me a little longer than I thought it was going to, mainly because I have been flagging and labeling everything as i pull it out and just want to make sure that when i put this in the comanche i can put it all in relatively easily relatively quickly so this is where we're at tomorrow i will continue pulling this interior pulling the harness out and then even following the harness out to the back for the tail lights the fuel pump all that good stuff. I even labeled the fuel pump and uh, the tail light connectors underneath the Jeep. I didn't really film that because there wasn't really much room and it was dark. You weren't, you guys weren't going to see anything. But this is a good stopping point for today. I'm excited, and we've made lots of progress. Well, this is part four, day two. We're going to be taking the door cards out of the Cherokee the center console 
and removing some of the interior trim pieces to get access to the rest of the wiring harness that's inside the Cherokee. And then hopefully we're gonna try and take the HVAC box out. We're gonna see if we could do it with the engine still installed. If not, I'm gonna have to wait till the engine's out to get the HVAC box out. So first and foremost, if you ever taken any Cherokee Comanche door cards off, you gotta get this top piece off. Then we're gonna take off the uh, side view mirror. And then we gotta take off all the screws to get access to the door itself. So the door looks like all off. This is uh, that little like backing that goes behind the, the door cards. Um, everything's off right now. Now I just gotta take off these three uh, Torx bolts to get the uh, side view mirror off so I can put it on the Comanche. I already did all this on the Comanche. I already took the door cards off, the side view mirrors off, at least on the passenger side because I'm working on the passenger side right now. That as you can tell, the driver's side still has the mirror. But the only thing I'm left questioning is if I want to run, take these door speakers off and run them in the Comanche. I'm not entirely sure if that's what I want to do, but it's a possibility. I was more thinking of running like a Bluetooth soundbar um, along the roof, like a Wet Sounds a 33 inch bar or whatever it is. And just calling that my stereo system. But I still have some thinking to do. See if I want to run this or not. Well, here it is. Sorry about the background noise. Neighbors decided to do the yard, but it's in. We got the adjustable mirrors. We got the tan door cards. I did decide to put the door speakers in. Uh, I figured I might as well. And if anything, I could always just take them out. But for now, they're in. The wiring's hanging right there. So when I put in the Cherokee wiring harness, it should all work just fine. Well guys, I finished swapping the door cards on both the driver and passenger side and the adjustable side view mirrors. Now what's left, I gotta pull those plastic panels, paint them tan, and uh, I'm gonna swap in probably the tan seat belts. I have this black one here that I made this keep, but I got the door speakers in too. Uh, my main thing next is going to be swapping the dash in. I got to pull the HVAC box out of the Cherokee, which would be a continuation of this video, which would be day three, which would be tomorrow. And um, yeah, that's about it for today. I'm going to come back and keep filming this video for tomorrow where I'll be trying to pull the HVAC box off the rest of the body, the rest of the body harness in both the MJ and the extra day four of part four of the four liter swap chronicles quick recap got the dash out got the door card swapped over today we're going to be pulling off the interior trim pieces getting the uh, harness that runs through the back of the body to the fuel pump and stuff we're going to get that taken out and then on the command sheet we're going to start swapping stuff over from the cherokee the Comanche probably still looks the same. Uh, all I've already done is the battery tray. Get the battery temp sensor in there. Took off the brake booster. But where the real magic is happening is over here on the Cherokee. Got the front clip header panel off. I'm getting ready to pull the core support and the radiator. I've been labeling, labeling everything as I've gone through took out the air box and so the plan is to pull the core support and the radiator and then start working on a lot of the wiring and pulling that out and getting this ready to pull the engine for part five the core support is out it's just those two it's two 10 mil bolts here two 10 mil bolts there you unbolt the well, this one had the automatic, so I had to undo the trans lines, undo the radiator hoses, and if you have AC, you pull the, you undo the AC lines, and the whole thing just comes out. That's the AC compressor. That's the uh, radiator. Now the last thing I have to do is pull the rest of the the wiring and the accessories all out and put them in there.